What's going on YouTube? Thank you for another video. I definitely appreciate everybody that's new to my channel, new people that have subscribed, subscribe. If you haven't already watched, make sure you go watch my last video talking about the cryptocurrencies that you guys should be investing into and the cryptocurrencies and how to invest into it, stuff like that. That video has 2,000 views. I definitely appreciate every single last one of you guys going to go watch that video, uh, commenting, liking. Make sure you like and comment, subscribe on this video as well because I'm being consistent for you guys. I told you guys this year I'm going to be consistent. If you came from TikTok, I appreciate you. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Hustlers YouTube, I guess. And we're going to continuously produce great content, continuously produce content that's inf information to help you guys make money, help you guys get rich, help you guys be able to get watches, cars, whatever you guys admire, and just better your life in general. However, this video is about three businesses that you can start up with zero cost that can make you $10,000 a month if you just put in a significant amount of effort. However, it's not going to kill you, I promise you. It's just going to be an adequate enough amount of effort. You can literally have another job and do this, I promise you. That's pretty much whatsoever. So number one on the list is a clothing brand. I am going to always be an advocate for being having a clothing brand because clothing brand plus TikTok has changed my life completely into me being able to earn seven figures from the age of 19 to now I'm age 23. So when I started TikTok at 19 years old, I'm age 23, I'm gonna be 24 this year. Um, so those two things combined have changed my life forever in investing, which is on my last video. However, the clothing brand, zero cost. Let me tell you why. So when I first started my clothing brand, I thought that you needed so much money to create it and do all this stuff like that. You really don't, honestly. And let me tell you why. Because even like these huge brands, you got car companies, you got house companies, these places are using models and just explaining to people what you're gonna get before you get it. And that's the same thing with a clothing brand. So if you ever heard of mock-ups, digital products basically, do what you can make it into a real life after you buy. Something similar to drop shipping, however, we just call this the pre-order method is the proper terminology. So for the clothing brands, you get a mock-up, you can use Adobe Illustrate, you can use Canva. I'm gonna repeat that once again. Adobe Illustrate or Canva, two apps. Adobe Illustrate is like $15 a month, Canva is free as you know. However, there may be some features on there that May, they may want you to do Canva Pro if you want to use it, but you really don't need that to do um, mock-ups, I assure you. And those are the two most famous apps when it comes to creating mock-ups, creating graphic designs, and you create the product. You have to make it look realistic as to what you will be providing to the people, and then you sell that online. Now, you definitely want to make sure you have a platform that's adequate. It's not going to hold your money from you as well, especially maybe this is an influencer watching, or maybe somebody who may not get too many sales in the start. However, if it's an influencer watching and you plan on getting a lot of sales up front, you may want to use Square or GoDaddy. And the only reason I'm going to say that is because they hold money. With Shopify, they'll you know monitor your sales to see what's going on, making sure you're not a scam, making sure you're not you know a whole bunch of variations of things they don't want in the platform because they will ban you um, and you'll never be able to use it again. Um, like forever. So you definitely want to make sure you're using the platform pro properly and to your best advantage. However, creating the mock-ups is the first step. You can create an entire store of mock-ups as long as you literally have the supplier that can give you the items that you're going to need. So there's, you're going to need a vendor when it comes to the clothing brand. You're going to make sure you need a print man. And on top of that, you're going to need to make sure you have a manufacturer. Those three things are going to make you successful in the clothing industry. You need to have those three things. And on top of that, you're going to want to make sure you have a laser printer. You can go get a laser printer from, this is after you're making money, by the way. This is not beforehand. Relax. So yes, still zero cost. It's a start. It's a start. After you're in business, obviously you're gonna have to use money. However, you need to make sure you get a laser printer. The reason why I say you guys need to use a laser printer is because when I first started, I used to only go to USPS directly and go ship out stuff, USPS, um, UPS, and I would get, and I would be paying three times what everybody else was paying. Um, and then I met somebody who told me, yo, go get a laser printer and we pay online through the, you know, the, um, you Shopify, you Square, whatever, you use Shippo, you use Pirate Ship, it'll be a lot cheaper rather than you paying spending money on flat rate envelopes, whatever the case may be, through USPS and spending nine dollars, twelve dollars to ship domestic, you can end up spending two dollars or three dollars using first class and the um, priority shipping through the online service instead of doing it and using your own packaging and stuff like that. Because on top of that, you're gonna need to get poly millers. Um, once again, those things are on Amazon. A laser printer will run you from anywhere from eighty dollars to one fifty, depending on the quality, depending on the features, depending on Bluetooth. Um, the poly mailers you can definitely get around a thousand poly mailers for probably ten dollars just using Amazon, honestly. So it's pretty nice to use, honestly. On top of that, you're gonna, like I said earlier, you're gonna need to get a manufacturer. So 
I even said it previously in my TikTok to not use Pakistan manufacturers. However, if you want to start off with them because you may have the connect, whatever, you may trust them more. Because don't get me wrong, there are manufacturers out here that do scam people, however. But once again, if you want a legitimate manufacturer, DM me on Instagram. The only bands are bands one time. I can provide you my manufacturer. You're going to need to make sure you have WhatsApp because these are overseas people. They're not communicating through iMessage. They're communicating through WhatsApp only specifically, strictly, uh, religiously. You need to have WhatsApp and that's it. Um... And, or you can go to China. China. Chinese manufacturers are great too. Um, I will say that the only thing that, I mean, in my opinion, I think that the Pakistan manufacturers are a little bit faster. I don't know, that's up for debate. I think they're a little bit faster when it comes to shipping and stuff like that. However, when you communicate well with your manufacturing, what you want, the quality, how fast you want them to ship, and if you want them to ship faster, you should know you gotta come with the money. Money talks every day, all day. You come with more money, they'll ship it faster. I promise you, you come with enough money, they may even ship it in two days, so. If not, you're looking around a seven to 14 day turnaround time, pretty much on all products, no matter really, no, no matter what it is. And on top of that, because of inflation, higher shipping costs, things are gonna cost a little bit more regardless of who you go to, but just keep that in mind. Later on, you're gonna need a domain for your business. So you're gonna need to make a domain. And the domain is basically just so that you don't have, uh, let's say for example, your shop is called like, uh, you know, never, never lose, dot com at Shopify. You don't want the at Shopify. It makes you look unprofessional. You just want to say never lose dot com, not never lose at Shopify dot com, not never lose at GoDaddy dot com. You want to have the domain. And domain can pretty much cost you anywhere from one dollar to twelve dollars to five hundred dollars, depending on the demand, uh, the exclusivity, um, what you have at the end. If it says dot com dot net dot org, whatever the case may be, that makes the price go up. After that, you want to make sure that you have things in place on your website when it comes down to the FAQ and all the information and policies to make sure that people are not being misled. If you know that you're not gonna be able to get stuff from your manufacturer from 14 days, please do not say you ship in five days to make yourself look better, whatever the case may be. It will go left, you will get a lot of disputes, you will get banned, that's pretty much all that's gonna happen. However, that's pretty much all that need, you, you'll need for that specifically. On top of that, you need to make sure you have a catchy name for your brand, a brand, a name that actually resonates with people. And on top of that, even more important, you need to have a meaning behind the brand. Now the meaning, once again, is not needs to say, uh, and everybody that comes with these meanings of like, um, you know, trying to be motivational, there's no need to do that when starting up the brand. Um, like Gucci's slogan is, quality is long remembered after price is forgotten. Basically saying, we know our stuff is extremely expensive and we know this stuff costs a lot of money. However, our products are gonna last longer than the other products that are cheaper. Our products will be remembered for the quality no matter what because it'll be around longer and they pretty much have lived this in the name and lived this in the slogan pretty much thus far. So when thinking of that, think of something that's um, you know either gonna be catchy, can resonate with people, um, or just something that you may like and that others are gonna like as well. Because something I see with a lot of businesses failing, the CEO or whoever's running it is too focused about what they want. You need to understand like the rules of Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. Focus on the customer and you will get rich, you will become successful, I assure you. Next, as you guys all know, drop shipping. Drop shipping is pretty obvious. Now, the only thing that'll come with drop shipping is that you're gonna need, if you don't plan on spending money on ads, you're gonna need to put an extensive amount of time into TikTok and creating TikTok videos about the product. Um, and this is 50-50 though. You can, yes, you can have a store that um, has all the products on it, you have the images. However, we're talking about zero cost startup. Um, yeah, you can, you know, for it to actually go somewhere, this is me being honest, you will need to buy some of these products and have them in hand. But just having the store in general and starting it up, yeah, you can just have pictures off Google knowing and then knowing the supplier where you're gonna get it from. Um, and you can either ship it yourself or have it being shipped, have it shipped directly from the supplier to the customer. However, that will cut into your profit margins. Most drop shipping profit margins are only from, this is not an exaggeration, the only reason why I'm somewhat not too keen on it in terms of profit and actually profitability, which you'll take home, um, is five to 25%. It's not that much. So if you make $100 and you're using the supplier, you got the shipping, you got to get the item, it can go from you only making $25 off of $100. But once again, if you sell higher costing products, you'll get a lot more. But with higher costing products to really make a lot of money and make a move in the industry, you're gonna to need to get a lot of reviews, and you're gonna to to get a lot of physical products to show the product off yourself, for people to trust you and go from there. However, dropshipping is another good one. The last one that I have on here is SMMA. So social media marketing agency. So you can start a social media marketing agency with $0 and here's why. 
you will be marketing these brands with their own money. So yes, you'll, so you get two different types of payments for this, if it comes down to it. You'll get a payment for your services to them and you'll get a payment, well, it's not really a payment, but like I said, you'll be using the money that they, they'll use their own money to you, to you to utilize the ads and for you to market their brand and stuff like that. So you'll get a payment for the services, your services, so you'll have a fee maybe, let's say you do a company and you lock them into a contract for about three months and we'll market your stuff on social media, we know something that you don't know, or your marketing isn't doing too well, it's not really giving you a good ROI, return on investment, so okay, we'll, we'll switch it up and you know we'll do this for you, and you charge uh, a fee. So even me, I had a mentee who now does social media marketing as well, I do social media marketing on the side, nobody really knows about it, but I do social media marketing on the side because obviously you guys even watching this video, I'm a great marketer, it's just a, it's just a fact when it comes down to my clothing brands. And just anything I want to do, I'm going to market the best this period. Um, I have a mentee, once again, who has been able to lock in retainers up to $15,000 six months in advance. So every, every, every month, they're going to be making $15,000. And that's honestly great. So you can, like I so said, once again, you can lock in these companies um, with zero cost because you have the knowledge and a lot of businesses you probably should try to help out are businesses that aren't too big on social media because obviously if they're big they don't really need your help um, aren't too big on social media are just starting off local companies you can go to your local restaurants that once again are not food chains that have billions of dollars of marketing just places that are just trying to get some more emotion and help them out once again this is only good and only a good business practice if you actually are going to invest your time to learn the knowledge to implement for them. Because if you're gonna just say, oh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll upgrade or we'll help you with marketing and you can't really give a return on investment, you're gonna lose that client pretty fast. They may want out of the contract, whatever they may do, whatever the case may happen. And it's not gonna build long-term relationships to truly build up that wealth. But once again, that's another method and that you can start with zero cost to create $10,000 a month, I assure you. So if you get um, five companies on $2,000 a month for marketing, for your services, that's 10 grand right there. I'm just saying. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you guys want a part two. Um, and let me know if you want me to go in any extreme detail about any of these business modules and go from there. Um, I definitely appreciate you guys watching. I'm definitely gonna implement vlogs. I'm gonna have a guest person on my videos extremely soon. I'm gonna also be linking with a lot of influencers. I used to not really like, want to like, you know, I guess collab with influencers. However, this year, I'm trying to bring you guys the best content, period. So I'm gonna be linking with a lot of new business owners, upcoming and already established. And we're gonna talk about a whole bunch of business stuff and just the lifestyle. Um, I got three supercars on the way this summer, but we're gonna be talking about all that. I appreciate you.